would hang it. I am back with the Revealing Your Secrets out. Today's video is sponsored by Hinge, the relationship app. The app where you can date and not worried about getting murdered. Hinge is an app that is geared towards people who are actually looking for serious relationships. Instead of like just swiping people yes and no by the way they look, you can actually look at profiles and find out more information about people. You also have to put your whole name on your profile. So the chance of you getting catfished is like, a lot lower. One feature on Hinge is that users can answer prompts so that others may get to know them better. My dear friends over at Hinge shared some of their best answers with me from real Hinge users. The prompt is, what is a secret only my pet knows about me? And before we get into all of your secrets, we are going to read some of these Hinge secrets, which may I say are gonna be a lot less intense than the anonymous ones you guys submit because these people are looking for love. I sniff my belly button sometimes. Wow, off with a banger. I mean, you have to give this person credit. They're putting something kind of repulsive on a dating app, so you know that they're honest. I'm a great kisser. Um, okay, one question. How does your dog know that? I mean, that's a red flag right there. And that's why we love Hinge. I tell my houseplants how beautiful they are. First off, that's fantastic. That helps them grow. Secondly, we know she's supportive. This comment is, I am also a dog. This is a good pickup line. My dog Lily knows way too many secrets about me. You'll just have to meet her to ask her yourself. <laughs> Those are some secrets from Hinge users. If you're interested in trying Hinge out, I will leave a link down below. And now, on to the anonymous secrets, where sh gets nasty. I'm a very shy girl at school, but that doesn't mean I don't have 10 guys in my mind that I would smash, including my teacher. I pooped in a bathtub at a hotel. I masturbated in a chapel once and I regret it. Um, yeah, no shit. There are lots of inappropriate places where you can masturbate. In a chapel is just maybe one that you wanna avoid. Maybe. Sometimes I wanna cheat on my boyfriend really bad and I don't even know why. Like he's a great guy and he treats me right and I love him, but for some reason, every time another man walks by, I kinda wanna cheat on my boyfriend with them. Um. That sucks for your boyfriend. This girl spreads rumors about me in school, so I decided to punch her in the face 17 times. She hit me back, of course, but she came to school the next day with sunglasses. I ripped those off her face. She got two black eyes. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> what? When I was younger, I stole a gift card from JCPenney, and I was so guilty about stealing that I decided to give it to my friend for her birthday, but there was never any money on it to begin with. What a sh present. A, it's a gift card, which I guess is nice for some people, but other people look at that and they're like, mm, wow, lazy much, you know? Second, JCPenney. I'm not bashing JCPenney, but if you're gonna give me a gift card, like, anywhere else. Thirdly, if that wasn't enough, this girl's like, Meredith, this gift blows. She goes to JCPenney, she spends like 45 minutes picking out exactly what she wants, and um, there's no money on the gift card? No. You are not getting invited to my next birthday party. I don't even believe this. I don't wanna believe it, and I don't believe it. I once got a in a glory hole. If you don't know what that is, don't look it up. Only to later find out that it was my sister on the other end. Most uncomfortable experience of my life. No, no. I've stolen nine wet floor signs from my high school in the past two months. They are $26 each. You know what, this is a sticky situation. No pun intended. First off, you're stealing school property. That can't be good. Secondly, you are contributing to potential lawsuits, which is also not good, so, you know, maybe steal something else. 
My biggest secret is on my birthday, I had a bunch of friends over for a sleepover and my mom had to go somewhere. My friend had a brilliant idea to go into my mom's room and look for weed. We were all only 12. Two of my friends didn't want to, so they were watching a horror movie in the other room. We didn't find weed, but we found this corset. Without even thinking, me and my friends started putting it on. My two other friends that were watching the movie started screaming and I fell on my cat. Oh my, the storyline is all over the place. Okay, C minus. Every time I'm in fourth period class, I get super turned on and I have no idea why, but it always happens in this class. My knee is slightly swollen, but I keep accidentally hitting it on things because I hate cheer and my mom already bought my 200 dollar cheer uniform. Wow. The things we will do to avoid an honest conversation. Smoked weed and snuck out. One time when I was like six, I got up at like 2 a.m. to use the bathroom. I kind of pee on the seat a little. I then proceeded to lick it and then go back to sleep like nothing happened. In what world is that the first solution that comes to your brain? Like, I would just leave it over lick it, you know? But, okay. <laughs> Okay, so at school in the girls' bathroom, we have these signs made out of paper which says something about leaving the bathroom clean after we're done. Last year, I saw that paper and I don't know why, but I took it, wiped my ass with it, and then put it back. And I was very good friends with the principal. So the next day, I went to her about some school stuff and she started telling me about how disgusted she was that someone would do that. And till this day, she doesn't know that it was me. Ew, why? I guess I get it if you like grabbed it and wiped your butt with it and you're not sure why, but like why would you put it back? I mean, I honestly, I don't even get the first part. The whole thing's really peculiar, even your friendship with your principal. I, <laughs> I'm confused. My mom made me steal toothpaste when I was eight. I was hella scared. And that's how important brushing your teeth is. I can't sh unless I shove my index finger up my and guide it out. Guide it out. Ew. I like eating little rocks off the floor sometimes. Sometimes I like being a snake and making people be my friend just to stab them in the back. I am already in therapy. <laughs> I love that whoever commented this was like, I know, I know. One time in fourth grade, I sat next to my crush in science class and one day a cricket came into the room during a lecture and I wanted him to think I was cool so I got my scissors and I cut his head off. I got in trouble and he probably thinks I'm a psychopath. Me flirting. <laughs> I ate my hamster. It tasted really gross and I threw up later. Don't worry, I cooked it. I don't, I don't. I, I didn't ask. I didn't ask. I mean, I guess I did ask. I did ask. I said, tell me a secret. But I just don't want to know that. I actually hate watching A-dubs. That's me. But my friend really likes watching you. And whenever a new video comes out, the next day she talks to me about it. Until a few months ago, she told me to start watching your videos when they came out so she can relate to me more. <laughs> Wow, this girl knows what she wants in her friends. I lied. Yes, okay, I love a dub. And so, to keep the friendship going, I continue to watch your shitty content. No offense, you're really successful and I admire that. Your content is just sh You know what, okay. Everybody is entitled to their own opinions. I would like to see you start a YouTube channel and then we can talk about shitty content. I'm butthurt. No, I'm kidding. I'm not butthurt. I'm not butthurt. I'm saying I'm not butthurt, so I'm not butthurt. Last summer, I had a lot of family up at my house, and my aunt and uncle had to sleep in my room, so I had to sleep in my brother's room with him. We ended up and my mom walked in on us. It's been weird with my mom ever since. Makes sense. Well, I drew very detailed drawings of me killing my ex-friend, and till this day, I still do, and I stalk her on social media. Does that make me creepy? Yeah. I was joking around backstage during a musical, and a bunch of girls were giving hickeys to each other. Not sexually, ha, <laughs> lol. And then one of the girl's boyfriends found it and didn't believe her when she said her friend had it to her, and so they broke up. If that isn't the most 
theater kid story I've ever heard. I get an extreme amount of satisfaction out of touching fine art in museums that say do not touch. So far, I touched a Magrette, a, a Mar, a Magrette, I don't know, I don't know. A Picasso and a bunch of other artists' work. So fine, I feel I shouldn't name drop them. Me mentioning Picasso. I stuffed my used tampons in my ex-boyfriend's bag for five months because he told people he was the one who broke up with me. I was the one who ended it. This sounds like an unhealthy relationship anyways, so I'm glad you guys have split. I sometimes eat my period blood, but only sometimes. Oh, okay. This person writes, all right, it's time, I guess. And that's how you know it's gonna be a good one. They're like, here I go. My parents' dog was in the house and it sniffed my vagina. After that, I let it lick it a few times. And now I'm into wolf porn. Oh my god. All right, that's the end of this video. I am, I'm full. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Check out Hinge. I will leave a link to where you can download it in the description bar and subscribe to me. I upload videos every Thursday and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.